It is it is Tuesday. Uh, no, Wednesday. It's Wednesday, February 15th, in Columbus, Ohio, at the Ohio State University. And well, just look at this. Packaging. Always appreciate that. Ooh, feels like a basketball little snap logo guy. Oh, oh, oh. They come in blue. <laughs> smells <guess> good. <laughs> <laughs> so it smells wonderful. It smells like a new car. Feels like a basketball. That's snap. I don't. I don't know what you guys are. Uh, you guys are doing. Instructless mumbo jumbo that no one's gonna read. Oh, magnetic. Oh yeah, that's how they. That's how they charge. They like magnetically. Snap in. Ha! Snap! Ha! 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 <coughs> I'm surprised they're thicker, honestly. I'm just saying. They're just like black. Let's like go. you can't even Let's see. Let's go. Alright, so right now I'm just trying to pair it. So you pull up your snap code and then you all you do is click and then just look at it. And it works. Dang, that was cool. That's stupid. <laughs> That's too integrated. Wow. Uh, press once to take a 10 second video snap. Press again to extend by 10 seconds or press and hold to stop recording. Double tap the side to check your battery level. If you're running low, put spectacles in their charging case for a bit. I've been using spectacles for about a full day now, full 24. Oh, by the way, I'm dressed up because I just had an interview. It went well, thanks for asking. Um, I've been using these guys for about 24 hours now, used them all yesterday and um, some of today so far. My thoughts on them? I like them. I really like them. More than I thought I would. I think Snapchat is on to something very, very interesting. And I'll go so far as to say they are like probably the, on the cutting edge of where I think video will go ultimately. Um, now you can make the argument that GoPro has already been there, but what I will say about Snapchat and these spectacles is how simple they are and how integrated they are with sharing video. I think that's a distinction from GoPro to where, so whereas GoPro, yeah, you can go hands-free video, much harder to share, at least instantly. So I love Snapchat already for how instant and how raw sharing your life with other people is through photos and videos. Snapchat has been able to combine those two realms of the raw video sharing instantly along with the hands-free video. And I got to talk with the reps that were at the SnapBot um, when I was in line, and so I got, I was like kind of asking the right questions, I think, and I got some information that I hadn't heard from anyone else before about spectacles. By the way, if you want a full review of the spectacles and how they work and whatever, I'm not going to do that here. Go down in the first link of the description, watch Sam Sheffer's video, he does a phenomenal job at it, there's no use in me really doing that. I got to talk with these reps, and I think I was asking sort of the right questions, right? So I was talking about how stable the camera is, and um, how like crisp it is still. And what I was told is that they were able to hire people from a few different really interesting companies for this project, specifically. They went out of their way to hire people from GoPro and Redbox, which perfectly encapsulates what Spectacles is, in my opinion, this hands-free video um, in with a marketing plan that is, you know, parallel by like Yeezys or whatever. I think learning those two, I think learning that information about who is working on Spectacles and where they came from is really interesting. And I think it's especially interesting considering the context which I was given via Casey Neistat, if you missed uh, my last video, or my two videos ago, uh, Casey Neistat came to my school, gave a talk, I got to talk with him and meet him and go to a workshop and stuff like that. He said something that I had never heard him say before in any of his vlogs or any of his videos. I'm a huge Casey fan, so 
I don't think he's ever said it before, but Beam's original intention was spectacles, or what is spectacles. Beam originated integrating themselves with Google Glass. If you don't remember, um, I'm sure many of you do, but Google Glass was Google's attempt at having like a hands-free interface uh, through glasses. They were way down the road of uh, fundraising for it and whatnot, and then, as I heard Casey say, and he was like, this is cool. He's like, you know, they just killed Google Glass. And we're like, what? <laughs> and he's like, they just, they killed, they just announced it. They killed Google Glass. And we like, took out our phones under the table, like, you gotta be fucking kidding. <laughs> like, they, they killed it. So we pivoted and we came up with something else. And, you know, like, then Snapchat just, you know, just kicked our ass and we lost. And our product failed. I think if Beam had launched that, if Google Glass had been a thing, um, that they would have done well. I think Beam, although didn't succeed in competing with Snapchat, as Casey said, I think they would have done well in creating this hands-free instant video sharing thing that now is Spectacles. Kind of speculation, um, mixed with a little bit of real intel from the source, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you think Spectacles, well one, do you think Spectacles will last, and two, do you think Beam would have survived if they had been first to market with this glasses hands-free video sharing thing? that now is Spectacles and Snapchat. That being said, I don't know that Spectacles is the end-all be-all, right? Like, I do believe that the future of video is hands-free in some regard, and I think Spectacles has done a great job of entering into that market, and some people don't like their marketing scheme, but uh, I think they've done a great job. The interface on Snapchat where you can rotate it, it is seamless, it is almost lag-free, which is just crazy and uh, I am a fan of it. Whether or not they become trailblazers for other companies to come in and innovate in that space of hands-free video, I don't know. Obviously, I'm still talking about hands-free video, so GoPro still kind of dominates that. But again, it's that instant sharing aspect that I think puts Spectacles over the top. And it is so easy. I'm someone that vlogs every single day, and having multiple things in my hand at all the time is frustrating. But just having sunglasses on and being able to click one button, no thought at all, is is very cool. If you're new to this channel, I want you to know that I make daily content, mostly vlogs, but whatever I'm doing in my life, I like to make a video about it. So sometimes it's when I get a cool new thing, I like to tell people about it, um, as well as you know, shooting music videos, shooting travel montages, that kind of thing. Uh, so consider subscribing if you're new. And definitely, definitely follow me on Snapchat, because I'm having so much fun with this thing. And I usually add all my subscribers back. It's probably the most intimate way to connect with people, uh, because it's just so quick and easy. So add me on Snapchat, follow my stories and stuff. I'm having so much fun with these things. Um, really, I just haven't been taking them off my head too much. I actually did my interview with them today. That's a lie, but I was considering it. <laughs> so yeah, that's gonna do it for today's episode. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. I wanna thank you so much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow.